Our wildlife is in trouble. We as humans are sprawling. We're building and building and building. We're pushing them out. They're at risk through our roadways, our large buildings. Their homes are no longer there. He would not make it through the winter. Shades of Hope, we are a 911 for injured and orphaned wildlife. We have treated over 15,000 wild animals. We'll easily receive 30 to 40 animals a day. Can you get a towel over the squirrel? I grew up in a small farming community that's no longer there. It's now a city. I started to think about all the animals that I see on the side of the road daily. They have no help. I started to look for places where we could take these animals and there really wasn't anywhere. My focus was to make a difference. Oh, smells good. Hi, squiggle butt. Hi, squiggle butt. This is Stella the Stinker. <laughs> Stella was found in somebody's backyard looking lost. Stella was probably the baby of a mother that was killed on the road. There may have been other siblings out there as well and they just scattered because they were starving. She was dehydrated. She was cute as anything. <laughs> People always want to know if we get sprayed. Yeah! <laughs> if she were threatened, she'd stomp, she'd show her tail, and then she'd turn around and give it to you. But she doesn't have any reason to do that. She has grown well, so she will be just fine when she's released in the spring. We do not want our animals to become accustomed to humans. We interact with the animals only when we have to. You're too young to be out there. Yes, you are. Our highways, our roadways are treacherous to our wildlife. Many of the animals that come in, come in because they've been hit by cars. We have a number of owls in care at the moment. People throw their garbage out their windows. It ends up in the ditches because of the food. The rodents are out there, and of course those attract the larger predators. They've sustained head injuries, wing injuries from colliding with cars. He already had parasites on his body. He definitely would have died soon. Hey, little Harry. This is migration season. There are birds migrating by the hundreds, perhaps by the thousands. Do you see the hairy woodpecker? window strike. There's so many man-made obstacles right on their migration paths. And he's coming along well. All of our wildlife has a purpose, all life has a purpose, and they deserve a chance to, to survive and do well. These guys are very entertaining. They're devils. <laughs> A very special story. Hey Yoda! Is Yoda's story. You having a good day Yoda? Yoda is a porcupine. And he was found on the side of the road lying on his dead mother. He also had been hit by a car. So Yoda spent the summer here and was released a healthy young adult. Two years later he's reappeared right at the barn door. Well we recognized him and he had a huge injury on his back. It was full of infection. It's kind of neat that Yoda came back needing care. He's been stitched up with a little bit of R&R. &R. He'll be on his way again. They're wild animals. Their instincts aren't to recognize us as help. But Yoda is a unique case. I'm very concerned about the future of our wildlife. Everything we do has an impact somewhere. It's really emotionally difficult to see that they have been in pain for we don't know how long. This arm looks a little bit sore. They tough it out. The release moments, they are what get us through all the sadness that we encounter every day. The joy of seeing an animal flap. When they turn around and look at us and say, bye bye and they're gone, it's just a reminder that yes, we need to be doing this.